Hi everyone, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOLevelMax.com. In today's video, I'm going to share with you on how to construct an angle bisector. Let's take a look at what we have. We have this angle here called A, B, C. To construct an angle bisector of A, B, C, step one, we're going to adjust our compass to any width that you like and place the needle point on point B over here. And we're going to draw an arc on line BC. And then on line AB. Step 2. Now, place the needle point on this first intersection. Draw another arc. Repeat the same step, but right now on this other intersection point. Draw an arc. Step four. We're going to join up the intersection point between the last two arcs that we have drawn to your point B. This line here is what we call angle bisector of ABC. Now, to find out if we have done it correctly and accurately, what we can do is, you can make use of your protractor, measure your angle ABC. So in this case, my angle ABC is 80 degrees. So you can see that my angle bisector here actually cuts the angle exactly into half, 40 degrees, 40 degrees. It shows that we have done our construction of angle bisector correctly. So what is the significance of constructing an angle bisector? Now, if you go ahead and take any points on this angle bisector and measure its distance from the point to the line BC, for example. So let's take this point and measure. It's approximately 5.9 and that same point, if you measure it to your other line AB, it is also 5.9. So which means to say, any point on your angle bisector is equidistant to your line AB and your line BC. I hope you have a clearer understanding on how to construct angle bisector. Thank you.